Hi, welcome back to my channel, my dear lovely viewers. For our time, I will go straight to the topic of today, which is um, Venom Testnet. As you can see, this is Venom Testnet, and on Venom te uh, Testnet, the first thing we need to do is to get a Venom um, Venom extension, and this is how it looks like. This is a Venom extension. So the first thing you you need to get a Venom extension. In the link, I will drop a link that shows how to get every or every necessary things you need will be on the link in the video description section make sure you check the video description section for those who always complain they can't copy on video description section always use youtube web don't use the app if you use the app you won't be able to copy so once you check you download the extension after downloading the extension you come to these networks like that you see options that will show you login and connect wallet login then claim token that's where you will claim your faucet here you can see mine has been claimed already that's why you're not seeing it here so you will see it, it will look something like this install venom get token then you can test dabs and nft so we are we will we'll start this now by start by testing uh the platform so when you after getting your token it should take like roughly five minutes after you connect your Twitter, you, you connect your wallet, you connect your Twitter, then you click on claim test token. It should take roughly five minutes for your test token to arrive in your wallet. So after getting your test token, the next thing I expect you guys to do is to swap some tokens. Just swap. What we have in the wallet is, you can see, these are the different tokens in this wallet. You can try different options. And try different things so you can see what I have is Venom. So now I just search for Venom. Okay, what I have here is wrapped Venom. Okay, here is uh, liquidity actually. Let's go to swap. Let me start with swap and just swap one. Just one venom into let me get up now. Let me try some other one so that we can have enough can have enough stuff to swap into into our liquidity pool. Try to use enough features as much as you can, even more than what I do in the video. I don't want you to keep asking me for password. That's why I, I toggle that on. So you can see the swap is done now. Swap is done. So now, after you're done with the swap, you can swap as much as you can. You can swap into other things like and swap it to BNB even if it's just one. Swap, swap. Just make sure you take note of the amount of uh, test token you have so that you don't overuse it. Then you get to a stage where you you will be short of it. So just take note. So so swap one venom. See, we have two transactions pending. So the one thing is, it, it doesn't, it's not as, because probably they are still working on the test net or something. The swap is not very, very fast. Not the, not the instant swap too. You just have to be patient to some extent. So now I'll go to the liquidity section. So when we go to liquidity se section, as we all know, same way uh, we always add liquidity. We go. So one of the transactions is successful. So let's just go to add liquidity. So in the liquidity section, you can see here. These are the options we have. We have uh, USDT to wrap Venom pay. And just connect accounts. Connect accounts by approving. Connect your wallet. See, even to connect wallet has to pend for a while so that's why i said you need patience
Google Dex account connected. Still asking us to connect again. Let's confirm. Let's see if it works now. So it should be connected now. No, we still need to connect to confirm transaction. You can see that's the issue with this platform. You just need to be patient. So now you can just toggle this on so that it will put it in balance proportion so that you don't have to be doing it manually. So now I can just use 0 0.5 of my balance. Since I have one, then I'm using half of what I have, and I'll continue. Then you say deposit token, that's the first step. I click confirm transaction. So when the first one is confirmed, click on for the second. Confirm. Confirm. The last part is to supply token, which is what we're supposed to do. At times you do transaction, it will ask you to do the same thing you've already done. Once again, you just keep doing it. It's just some glitch. It's not the it, it, that's why it's called a test test net. It's not yet perfect. So that's why they need us to get it get to try it to see where there are errors and some other things. So that's 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 all the things we need to watch out for. So it means you've added liquidity pool. So you can add more and more and more pool after you're done with the video but for the purpose of this video so as not to waste much of our time i'll just leave just this one and i'll just go to the next next one let's go to farming pools which is this i'll just use something like this Just um, point two. If we need to start farming, continue. I know most of you might not understand how the farming works or some other things, but most important thing is just do everything you see me doing. Just do it. That's the most important thing. So you can see we've added LP. So LP is active now. We have uh, USDT to wrap Venom farming food, uh, pool. So that means we're fine. We are good on the LP part. That means we are done with all uh, the testnet on this particular page. This testnet.web3.world. Okay. You can now go to the bridge part. This one you need your you need EVM wallet, which is your MetaMask wallet. If you're using MetaMask, depending on the uh, wallet you're using. So just pay attention and see how we go about this. So I want to use I, I want to check the Wallets where I have test tokens. Okay, I have some BNB test tokens. So what I'll just do is I'll just connect my wallet. So 
I want to bridge from BNB to SC. Okay, first I should I should change network. Okay, it's actually asking for I think it's 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 using mainnet. As you can see, that's why it's asking me to change wallet. Let's see what they want. Hopefully we don't have to swap mainnet token to Snet. Let me use the Phantom Opera. Since there is Phantom here. So okay, this is Phantom. Let's connect Venom. She pop up our Venom wallet. Well, I have something pending in MetaWask. Okay, let's check. So Venom popped up first. Just select the account. Yes, that's the account. The MetaMask. No, no, no. Let's just use the Phantom. So you see, this wallet I have four FTM. Now it means we are to bridge from mainnet to this Venom testnet. It's mainnet. All are, are mainnet except for the Venom itself. That means we have to use mainnet to bridge to Venom testnet. So now, okay, hold on, let me try something. Let's give it a try. I want to check something. Active transfer. What's wrong? Okay. Let's check it. Oh no. I'm not using the swap. It's the same swap we've used already. Let's go back to the bridge. Let's use one. Let's let me use continue. Let's see. Approve transfer. I think something is wrong with their bridge. The bridge is not working. So and I, I don't think I don't have DMB mainnet wallet. So we can't use that. And they said bridging fee is zero percent. That means it's not supposed to cost anything bridge. So let's say let's say for example this two I'm getting and they said this is 0 0.7, so two should be 1.4. Then let's make it two as well. See it's our proof transfer. And definitely something is wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. I think their bridge is not really working yet. Let me use higher amount on the T <coughs> Venom section. Something I don't think their 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 bridging is not working yet. So this this is the kind of thing you just need to go to the Discord, just tell the team. So so this is the issue you're facing when running the test net. If there is a form to fill, you fill it and let them know what is going on. So that's one of the reasons for running the test net. So we can now go to the next options. When you're done with that, you can always check back. When it's working, then you run it. Test net is not meant to be done once and just leave it. No, it's something you should be doing consistently, like frequently. 
until when they decide to launch the amendment. So let's just launch the testnet. That's where your NFT is testnet.oasis gallery. So you can see connect wallet. Next. Let's come here to the mint NFTs. Some page not found. Some of the things are not even working yet. You can see. So you just need to keep checking. You need to keep checking them over and over for now most of the stuffs are not working you even click on nfts it shows page not found so you need to check up on them later when you come all you need to do is just click on the nft of your choice then you you just mint you, you mint nft or you claim you you buy you purchase with your venom so once you purchase you will see it under my nfts so once you see it under my nfts it means you already have an NFT on Venom. So that's all you need to do, guys. For now, that's all you need to do. You can always check their ex uh, ecosystem data to see new projects that join. Then you can also use their service to also participate more and more on this particular uh, new platform. So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. See you in my next video. And please, this is why I need you guys to always turn on notifications because of uh, information like this about the SWE. Don't forget to uh, fill that form, please. If you're not on my group, you can chat me up. My WhatsApp is always on my well, my WhatsApp number and Twitter link is always on my profile. So just chat me up, then I'll drop you the link. If, if you don't turn on notification, you might be watching this video very late when it is very, very late and it might be useless at that moment. So thank you very much for watching my video, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.